in this question it is given that if z minus alpha upon z plus alpha where alpha is real number is a purely imaginary number and mod z equal to 2 then the value of alpha is this means the value of z minus alpha upon z plus alpha is in the form of lambda i because it is given that this is purely imaginary where lambda is some real number again note that as soon as i see z minus alpha upon z plus alpha for simplification immediately the formula of component and dividend should come in mind and if you don't know the formula of component and dividend i am going to explain it for you this formula says that if a upon b is equal to c upon d then a plus b upon a minus b will be equal to c plus d upon c minus d and also note that if you use the formula of component and dividend in this again you will be coming back to this position and looking at z minus alpha upon z plus alpha immediately the formula of component and dividend should come in mind and according to this formula z minus alpha plus z plus alpha upon z minus alpha minus z plus alpha equal to lambda i plus 1 upon lambda i minus 1 that is i get z upon minus alpha is equal to 1 plus lambda i upon minus 1 plus lambda i that is z equal to alpha into 1 plus lambda i upon 1 minus lambda i and because mod z was too given to us taking modulus on both sides i get mod z equal to mod of alpha into 1 plus lambda i upon 1 minus lambda i and this means because mod z is 2 and this is mod alpha into mod of 1 plus lambda i upon 1 minus lambda i that is 2 is equal to mod alpha into under root 1 plus lambda square upon under root 1 plus minus lambda square that is i can say mod alpha is 2 that is alpha is plus minus 2 hence i can say a is the correct choice